What's going on, YouTube family? This is Asnos here, coming at you with another city of Final Fantasy Opera Omni video. Today, I am going to break down Barney style, the Alexander Lufenia cheese method, because I, I know for me, I was having a little bit of troubles getting set up, and there was a lot of hubbub around it, and it seemed like a bunch of people were actually having a problem getting this set up. Now, I'm showcasing it here with uh you know my own run now as you guys know i have a tendency to always bring fear into everything and i did try to do a normal method with him but it was not working out so while i do have my own gladio um the disadvantage to using your own gladio is you're going to have to basically probably use an onion knight friend i found this easier using a gladio friend now the thing that you have to remember is that the, the, this is this is what happens like the grand scheme in the grand scheme of things what happens is when you reach max brave all all your characters reaching max brave alexander does this move where he reduces everyone's brave to zero and that ability counts as an attack so when it hits gladio he then goes into counter mode and then if your m brave is low enough his counter will actually hit hard enough in order to batter you up to where you need to be now you don't even actually have to have a full-on friend gladio. You only need one turn. Now, to do this, for me, what I did. Now, you take pa Paladin Cecil. You remove his burst weapon and give him bronze weapon. Because otherwise, he just got way too many stats. Then you go into all of his passives and just remove everything that re increases max brave. Uh, this will also include the abilities, or the, excuse me, the artifact passives. Remove those as well. Now, what you do from there is for... For me, I used Sarah. Other people are using Gabranth. Now with Sarah, if you're using her, of course, you go through all her normal level up passives, remove those. And if you're like me and you have triple double burst, uh, bur excuse me, triple double cursed passives, you also want to remove those because otherwise she is going to be skyrocketing that max brave. Now, from there, what I did for my cheese is I applied Jack Call to Firion because Jack Call does not require the character to stay put. So Furion is basically just there to execute the Jack Call. Only use the LD, don't use both, because you have to get set up within eight turns, and that includes calls. So if you do, if you take eight turns, he hardens his defense until he gets a turn. So don't do that. Just use the Jack Call. Swap out to Gladio Friend. The Gladio Friend, that's going to be on whoever's setting it up. They need to have not have evasion passives for one, and they need to have all their Embrave passives removed. Now, to get set up, so here's what I did. So, J Furion uses Jack LD call. I swap him out for Gladio. I have Gladio use the LD. Then, with, <clears throat> excuse me, with Paladin Cecil, I had him use the Ignis call. And then also his, his Ignis call LD, so that way everybody gets enchantment and we get him peril up. And then I have him use his LD to get that aura up. And then for Sarah... I had her use the Gabranth LD call, and then at that point, there are enough debuffs for her for when she uses her LD and batteries everybody up to full. That's when the shenanigans begin, as you saw with mine. So my turn order just so happened to have Sarah go last. She And I made sure to have those six debuffs. She batteried everybody up to full, and then booyah. Because as you see, my M-Brave here is very, very low. Now, Gladio is clapping for 89k a hit. Now, obviously, it can be better with an Onion Knight burst, but because I'm bringing Furion to mine and I'm using a friend, Gladio, to cheese the Furion saga, well, this is what we have. Now, hopefully, that kind of better breaks down what you guys want to do with this. Um, I'm not obviously going to have the entire video play out because it's not going to be exciting watching a nearly 20 minute video uh, and it's just Gladio and uh, countering every time. Alexander does something but hopefully this helps you guys out um, if you don't have the calls I mentioned that you know that's when you use stuff like the Gabranth call any any LD call that's going to increase your brave damage like Gladio needs to be hitting as hard as possible in order for this to work and again make sure that your Gladio well you should not have evasion passives on your Gladio anyway if you do you're doing it wrong because that fucks with his LD counter he has to actually get hit in order to counter with his LD. So anyway, hope this guy helps you guys out. I, you know, trying to break, do my best to break it down doggy style. And uh, yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video from here. This is Nasty Asty signing off.
Okay, I'm going to do this now. I don't know if I'm going to be the first person in history to do this or not. But God damn it, I'm going to do it. And I'm only going to do this once. So if I fuck up anywhere, you're just going to have to deal with it. Because I'm sure as hell not going back to do it again. Okay, everyone get ready. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, and every one of those bottles should have to fall, there'll be 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer, and every one of those bottles should have to fall, there'll be 97 bottles of beer on the wall, 97 bottles of beer on the wall, 97 bottles of beer, and every one of those bottles should have to fall, there'll be 96 bottles of beer on the wall, 96 bottles of beer on the wall, 96 bottles of beer, and every one of those bottles should have to fall, there'll be 95 bottles of beer on the wall, 95 bottles of beer. Beer on the wall, 95 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 94 bottles of beer on the wall. 94 bottles of beer on the wall, 94 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 93 bottles of beer on the wall. 93 bottles of beer on the wall, 93 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 92 bottles of beer on the wall. 92 bottles of beer on the wall, 92 bottles of beer. No one of those bottles should happen to fall. There'll be 91 bottles of beer on the wall. 91 bottles of beer on the wall. 91 bottles of beer. No one of those bottles should happen to fall. There'll be 90 bottles of beer on the wall. 90 bottles of beer on the wall. 90 bottles of beer. No one of those bottles should happen to fall. There'll be 89 bottles of beer on the wall. Woo! Well, 89 balls of beer on the wall, 89 balls of beer. And if one of those balls should happen to fall, there'll be 88 balls of beer on the wall, 88 balls of beer on the wall, 88 balls of beer. And if one of those balls should happen to fall, there'll be 87 balls of beer on the wall, 87 balls of beer on the wall, 87 balls of beer. And if one of those balls should happen to fall, there'll be 86 balls of beer on the wall, 86 balls of beer on the wall, 86 balls of beer. And if one of those balls should happen to fall, there'll be 85 balls of beer on the wall, 85 balls of beer. Beer on the wall, 85 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 84 bottles of beer on the wall, 84 bottles of beer on the wall, 84 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 83 bottles of beer on the wall, 83 bottles of beer on the wall, 83 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 82 bottles of beer on the wall, 82 bottles of beer on the wall, 82 bottles of beer. And if one of those bottles should happen to fall, there'll be 81 bottles of beer on the wall, 81 bottles of beer on the wall. 81 bottles of beer. If one of those balls should happen to fall, there'll be 80.